Doing some chickens. Big boys here. That's what you want to hear. Don't crowd the pan though. Big boys. Gotta get a big pan for the big boys. Big boys. Make some room. It's olive oil and butter. Let it sit there. Yeah, you hear that? Sizzles. Sizzles, my nizzles. This is it. This is my viral YouTube video. How to meal prep for a day. Three big ass chicken breasts. You should see the size of my breasts compared to these. Fucking gynecomastia is ridiculous. I wish it upon no one. Having man boobs is embarrassing. Really fucking sad. Anyway, I'm just gonna film this, cook it off. Maybe wash my hand, clean up a little bit. Made a bit of a mess. <coughs> Excuse me. Big pan. I sucked all the moisture out of the chicken. I sucked it out of the cheesecloth and I drank it. So yeah, just let it go low and slow, I guess. It's fucking... It's 5.28 in the morning. Gotta make these before I go to work. I got my green juice, extra vodka. Yeah, just cooking, man. Just chilling. So in the comments, leave leave your techniques for chicken breasts, man. How do you do it? I'm sure, you don't have a pan like this, though. Look at that. Look at this pan. Cadillac of pans. You know who's driving this? You know who's the passenger too? <laughs> I don't even bread it. You don't you don't need to. I was gonna sous vide this shit, but you know what? I got this big ass pan. Look at how big this is. This is big. These are big chicken breasts. This is my hand. I'm also seven foot two. My hand is big. I got a small dick though. Just cook it a little. Oh man, you can already smell it. Lower the heat. Should put the salt back. We'll refill it. Puzzle box in the fucking pantry, dude. Oh, almost got it. I might wreck some shit. Ah, what the fuck? Alright, that's stuck in there. So. Uh, just refill it with kosher salt. Nice, nice. Kosher. No JQ here, right? Don't bring that shit up. 
I don't need the ADL, SPLC, whatever the non goyim shit is on my ass. Just slowly cooking this. Oh, this is fat. All this fat coming out. I don't know what that is. I, I got these from the freezer. Ah, I forgot when I bought them. They're obviously not organic. Look at how plump that is. Like, it's like fucking Stormy Daniels, man. Like, those, you see those tits? That's plump. And firm. Doesn't feel natural. You need that nice supple shit. I should buy organic. I always do, but I just pull these out of the freezer. You ever grab onto some tits and they're like super hard and you're just like, what? Like, what's your problem? And the chick's like, what do you mean? Like, why'd you pay money for such a shit job? And then they get all offended. And then you recommend your own doctor for your own tits because my gyno come ask you. And they get mad jelly. I just can't, can't lactate anymore. <clears throat> Fucking problem. Used to be a thing. It's a trick. I said on my Tinder account, hey, you can squeeze my man tit pecs and milk will come out. It doesn't happen anymore. Now let's turn the heat up a little bit here. Oh yeah, is this is this racist? Well, so is frying white chicken breasts, all right, in a black pan. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I hope you get to hear all these delicious noises going on. Man. And actually, I have this perspective. This is what I'm working with here. It's my stove. I figured I'd braise it in some multicultural moho marinade. Got that Latina spice. Let's be aware of that shit. That's dangerous. Don't don't fuck with that unless you're ready to prepare yourself to get potentially stabbed. But if you're still here watching this video, I thank you. Just it's uh just get getting some chicken. It's now 5:35. Doing it slow. See, much like a burger, you're gonna notice the juices they they come out there, and that's almost when you know you gotta flip them. I'm sure they didn't teach you that at Burger King or Wendy's. Nah, dude. Not when I was there. Not when I interned for corporate. No way. Oh man, we're getting some popping. That's when you know the crust is forming underneath. This is good. This is good. I'm, I'm happy I'm doing this right now. Like... I'm here for you guys, like, I understand, you might be 30, like me, I love food, I've always loved cooking, and I just want to express my way of cooking with you, um, there's no reason that you need to go out to Burger King every day, or McDonald's, or Wendy's for that super, super fresh patty, you can just do this. 
All right, this pan is getting violent because they turned up the heat. Let's uh, let's end immigration and turn down the heat a little bit. We're a little more reasonable. I gotta I gotta check the sides here. Where are my tongs at? Fuck. We got every utensil. Oh, there they are. Dinner's ready, kids. Wake up. I'm just kidding. All right, let's take a look. Not quite. Nope. A little bit. Yeah, it's probably because it's closer to the heat and a little thinner, but you know what? Turn up the heat time. I don't know. I think uh, YouTube only allowed me about uh, 15 minutes of airtime per video, so I'm just trying to do it low and slow, just to show you in real time. I, I, I can't edit video, so I'm just cutting this from my phone one shot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, nigga? Nigga. N-I-G-G-A. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope that sounds nice. I hope this phone is picking up that delicious, sort of bubbly, crackling sound. I'm gonna pump up the heat, pump up the volume, as they say. I paid two ninety nine to watch Netflix on YouTube. I mean, um, The Matrix on YouTube. It's totally worth it. Distribute all that fat. Oh, for everyone that doesn't know, I was a Michelin star. Well, I was a sous chef at a Michelin star rated restaurant. Three stars. I'm not going to tell you what one. But I have Thomas Keller's number personally. So if I need a recipe for a roast chicken, I'm not gonna go to YouTube. I'm gonna text them or call them, be like, hey, chef, tell me, how do I do this? Now perhaps we will look and see, perhaps. That's fine for me. Yeah, that one's perfect because it's right under the heat. In the middle, Jimmy Eat World, emo faggots out there. Wow, that's just tore apart. That's not good meat, whatever. Looking nice. Nice and nice. You can feel the oil and butter coming off, spatting out. I don't know what this shit is. 
I can just go fuck off. And go cook over there. That's stupid. Oh, what kind of other seasoning can I use here for this? Papers? No, I don't think so. Huh. Onions? No. Oh, salt pepper's the way to go. But, oh. One after that little flare. Garlic powder. Actually get it more in the pan gonna cook off. That's a technique you've never seen before. You're welcome. Michelin star, bitch. You can smell it already. Wow. Now it smells like we're making fucking mussels, clams, seafood house. It smells delicious. Ridiculous. Let's turn the heat up. It's now 5.43 in the morning. I got my juice. Oh. I think I have a little little white wine to deglaze this shit, this garlic powder that got a little out of hand. But I'm not frying this. So, oh shit, I do. It's not white wine, fuck. Some shitty ass Pinot Noir. Fuck it. A light deglaze. Hold up. You got it. Ooh. Wow, this hasn't been used, but let's see. Man, I just went full French. I thought I was going to use this Hispanic bullshit mojo. Yeah, fuck that. Stick with the French. They're white. Kind of. Not anymore. Oh, since that's reducing, it might as well uh, cut a knob of butter here. That's a knob right there.
Oh, this chicken is cooked, my guy. My dudes. Perfect. Look at that. You spend 20 minutes with me? We can cook with one hand. Look at that. This, you cut this up? See this fat? Holy shit. You got a meal for a day. I mean, I'm a beast. Like I said, I'm 7'2". I got a 5 inch dick. But I lift and this is gonna be delicious. This is better than Bon Appetit. And, and also, this these have performed multiple abortions. <laughs> okay, all right, I gotta take these off. Stop. Off the heat, off the heat. Get a plate. Get a plate, get a plate, get a plate, get a plate, get a plate. Get a plate, nigga Jesus. Fucking failing right now, dude. That's right. And this? Well, I have no idea. I have no idea what these parts are. So, yeah, that's um, really the way to cook non organic, totally watery chicken breasts. Um, I'm gonna let them rest. I should actually pull them out a few minutes sooner so they can just cook, carryover cook. I'm all about the carryover cook. Um, yeah, the, this pan, I've got that wine. I can make some, some sauce out of it, but I, why when I've got that spicy Latina fucking Moho, the best. By the way, uh, if you've ever fucked a Latina chick or eaten one out, their vagina tastes like this on a good day. On a bad day, I can't tell you because I don't want to even describe it. So yeah, there we go. Chicken breasts, man. Cheers.